How is it that some candidates who lose elections manage to quickly bounce back from defeat and win their next race? Why is it that some who come up short by the smallest of margins are quickly consigned to the dustbin of history? The answer lies in how they fared in the game of expectations. Even in defeat, if you do better than expected, you'll get another shot. If you lose a race you're expected to win, it's hard to bounce back. An example, two years ago, a Republican congressional candidate in New Jersey fell short in his bid against a Democratic incumbent. But party elders noticed that he ran far ahead of other Republican candidates on the ballot, thereby exceeding expectations. Instead of relegating him to the political graveyard, they encouraged him to run again. This year he won easily. You can find similar examples throughout history, including those who survived defeat in their first or second try, who later rose to the pinnacles of power and changed the course of history. There are always things outside your control in a campaign. The political environment, shifting demographic patterns, the skills of your opponent. You will be forgiven a loss if opinion leaders and influencers believe you performed well with the cards you were dealt. On my YouTube channel, you'll find nearly 300 videos that will help you put your best foot forward in a political campaign. How to create a compelling message, raise money, master social media, debates, TV and radio interviews. They are free and yours to watch. When should you start preparing for a campaign? If you want to run in the next two years, the answer is now. If you'd like to talk about running for office or if you're looking for customized help in your campaign, the call is free. I am easy to reach. I'm Jay Townsend.